skip school or stay home. My mom wouldn't let me stay home if I wanted to, so... Hey, Mom, can you give me a ride to school? Sure, honey, I'll start the car. On second thought, I'll walk. Thank goodness, you could lose a couple pounds. Yeah, that's a great point. Thank you so much for bringing that up, Mom. Thank you. Hey, Giselle, do you want to go on a date with me? Jake? Seriously? I've had a crush on you since forever. So, do you want to go? I can't. I'm busy that night. I didn't even tell you which night. Yeah, I'm busy all nights. Hey, girl, do you want to come to the mall with us? <laughs> For once, a good option is free. Yeah. You guys, I just found this giant Squishmallow. Are you going to buy it? Of course I am. It's a great investment. Your gems. What? You guys, I just found this giant Squishmallow. Are you going to buy it? Of course I am. It's a great investment. Giselle, your gems. What? You have a million gems. But how is that possible? It went up when you bought the Squishmallow. Am I being punked? Mom, I'm home. What's that? Oh, this? This is my new giant Squishmallow. How many gems did you spend on that stupid Excuse thing? Excuse me? Squishmallows are not stupid. And she was only 10 gems. Do you really have 10 gems to waste? As a matter of fact, I do. I have a million. Here, I'll send you 100,000. Honey, where did you get that? Stop asking questions, Mom. You're welcome. Oh, someone's at the door. I'll get it. Hello, may I help you? Are you Giselle? Yeah. You're under arrest for the possession of stolen gems. Hey, Mom. Oh my gosh, your glasses are so cute. Can I try them? Yeah, of course, honey. Here. No way. You used to be a stripper? What? Don't judge me. I'm not judging. Get that back, sis. Giselle, hold my hat. Okay. I was so high, I Shut up. Right you went to jail, but you're only 16. Uh, how do you know about that? It's a secret. Damn, it's so cold in here. Do you want to borrow my jacket? Yeah, that's great. Thank you. You know what? On second thought, I'm fine. And thank you so much for reminding me to close my blinds. Ugh, my hair is so annoying. Jessica, do you have a scrunchie for me? Yeah, you're in luck. Great, thank you. Mr. Fit? Ugh, my hair is so annoying. Hey, Jessica, do you have a scrunchie for me? Yeah, you're in luck. Thanks. Mr. Fitz? You know about that? You're secretly dating Mr. Fitz? Giselle, keep your voice down. Do you know how much trouble you could get in? You could get expelled and he could be thrown in jail. Well, none of that will happen if you just keep your mouth shut. Yeah, don't worry. Your dirty little secret is safe with me. I can't believe I have to sit in a classroom every day knowing my teacher is in a relationship with my best friend. Miss Giselle, can I talk to you for a second? Um, yeah, of course, Mr. Fitz. Alone. Um, okay. So why did you want to see me? You look cold. Put on my jacket. You freaking per- Happy birthday, sweetie. Thanks, Mom. What'd you get me? Here. Yeah. Skittles? They give you special abilities. Yeah, whatever. Magical powers. Well, I guess I could try one. I don't feel any difference. Bye, Mom. I'm going to school. Wait, honey, I have some bad news. Your grandma passed away. Oh, well, that sucks. Wait, you're not sad? No. Why should I be? Bye, Mom. Oh, no, that's horrible. What's horrible? Jessica got hit by a car. Oh my gosh, for real? Well, I'm sorry for her. What's wrong with you? Hey, baby. We have to break up. I hooked up with Emily. Oh. Well, that's okay. What do you mean, that's okay? Was it good? Was what good? The hookup was it good? I knew you never loved me. Let me try another one. Ooh, purple. My favorite. 
I wonder what this is gonna do. Good morning, Mom. Hey, honey. I wonder if she knows that she's adopted. Wait, I'm adopted? Yes, I'm sorry, honey. How did you find out? No, it's okay. I'm going to school. Hey, Giselle. Oh, hey, Olivia. I had so much fun hooking up with her boyfriend last night. Wait, you hooked up with Lucas? How do you know that? It's fine. I've always been taught to give my old toys to the less fortunate. Well done, Giselle. You got an A-plus on your test. Oh, thank you, Mr. Bates. She can definitely get an A-plus on me. Can I transfer out of this class? Ugh, Giselle, come on, just go on a date with me. Tyler, you ask me every day, and every day I tell you no. Fine, I'll just watch you by your window again tonight. I have to remind myself to close my blinds. I'll try another color. Orange? Let's go see what this one does. Hey, Mom. I never loved you. I regret having you and your sister is my favorite child. I don't know why I said that. It's okay. I'm leaving for school. Well, that was freaky. Hey, Jess. I'm only friends with you because you have a hot dad. Wait, you're only friends with me because I have a hot dad? Yes, I don't like you. You're a shitty person. Good to know. Hey, psst, Giselle. What's up? Doesn't Mr. Fitz look so hot? I want to marry him and have his baby. Did you just admit to being in love with our math teacher? I don't know how much more of this I can take. Hey, babe, I've been meaning to tell you I'm in love with your mother, we're getting married, and I'm going to be your stepfather. I'm going crazy. What's the next color? Green? So good. Let's go find out what this one does. Hey, Mom. I still can't believe you failed your math test. I wish you would just forget about that. Forget about what? My math mog? What math mog? Never mind. I'm going to school. No way. Does this power make my wishes come true? Hey, Giselle. Hey, I wish you would give me your hat. Oh my gosh, yes, take it. Thanks. Giselle, you failed your math test again. Sir, I wish you would just give me an A+. Actually, you got an A+. Hey, Jackson. Hey, Giselle. I wish you would go on a date with me tonight. Well, keep wishing, because it's not going to happen. Wait, what? Do you think I'm dumb? Which color should we try next? Let's do yellow. Pause and play. I wonder what that does. Hey, Mom. Giselle, why didn't you do the dishes last night like I told... I guess I could do the dishes quickly. I told you to. What do you mean, Mom? I did them last night. Go check. Oh, I'm sorry. I must have been confused. I'm going to school. Okay, class, get ready for a pop quiz. Pop quiz? Well, I definitely don't feel like doing that. Wait, where'd Giselle go? That's one way to get out of it. Ugh, this class is so boring. Why isn't it pausing? Could you stop that? I'm trying to listen to the material. Why you lie about the guy? Is it true you lied? She should have died? I didn't lie about the guy. She's not thinking clearly. Dissy, rhyme it. They time it. She's out of her mind. Seriously. Okay, I'll believe you. But I got my eye on you like glue. I can't believe my best friend's gone. Bring him back. Come on. They timed it and he couldn't rhyme it. It's the world we live in. We can never win. I don't want to be here anymore. Please, rhyme it. They time it. You have so much to live for. I don't want to see you on the floor. Anymore. Anymore. I don't know. You look down. What's with the frown? I just saw someone get killed. Your head is a mess, but you can't stress. They time it. You need to rhyme it. I just saw someone get killed. Your head is a mess, but you can't stress. They time it. You need to rhyme it. I just saw someone get killed. I wasn't very thrilled. Please, keep your mind at ease. What'd you get on the exam? Exam. 
exam. Rhyme it, they time it. Hurry, you need to worry. Stop yelling at me. I can't think of what rhymes with exam. Good morning, honey. Today's nice and sunny. You're not speaking? What are you seeking? Are you scared? Your rhyming is impaired? You must speak. No one is allowed to sneak. You rhyme it, I'll time it. Why are you doing this to me? Tick tock, the time is on the clock. Why are you doing this to me? You rhyme it, I'll time it. Tick tock, the time is on the clock. Why are you doing this to me? Just let me be. You're safe. You're lucky. Lucky. It's your time to rhyme. You're safe. You're lucky. Come on, Brad, you wouldn't shoot me. We're partners. I'm sorry, Bob. I'm just doing my job. How are you feeling? Um. Rhyme it, they time it. Feeling? You rhyme better than anyone I know. Just go with the flow. I'm scared. You're out of time. You couldn't rhyme. What's going on? My partner's gone. Now it's your best friend's time to rhyme. Five rhymes in the given times. Five rhymes in the given times. I need to rhyme in time. You can't rhyme the same thing twice. It isn't nice. Five to stay alive. I, I don't know anymore. You don't know? It's time to go. No, my best friend, you put her to an end. You're a monster. Rhyme it. They time it. You're a monster. Tick tock. The time is on the clock. Hey, you can't steal my gun. You're done. Happy birthday, daughter of mine. I bought you a gift that is so divine. Why am I six? You need to rhyme it. Be careful because they time it. Why am I six? This needs a fix. You get older every year. That's how it is, dear. I'm actually 17. Happy birthday, daughter of mine. I bought you a gift that is so divine. Thank you. You need to rhyme it. Be careful because they time it. Thank you for this gift. It was really on my list. Yo, bro, can I have a bite of that orange? Orange. You need to rhyme it. Be careful because they time it. Uh, I don't know what rhymes with orange. What rhymes with orange? Come on, you need to rhyme it. They time it. Nothing rhymes with orange. Dissy, you're home. Come play with me. I was all alone. Of course I'll play. How could I stay away? Perfect. You be the stepmother and I'll be the princess. Um, princess. Sissy, they time it. Rhyme it. You be the stepmother, I be the princess. Hurry up. They time it. Rhyme it. You be the stepmother, I be the princess. Um, princess. Sissy, they time it. Rhyme it. You'll be the stepmother, I be the princess. Hurry up, Sissy. They time it. Rhyme it. You'll be the stepmother, I be the princess. We play just like recess. Why'd you shoot? I want to dispute. We time it and she didn't rhyme it. <gasps> She's still breathing. She might not be leaving. Please let me try and save my sister. I'd miss her. Go, but tell anyone about this and I'll know. She's going to be okay. You can visit her where she stay. Sissy, I miss you, little Missy. One of our partners nearly killed your sister. Tell us what happened with the mister. He timed it and she rhymed it. He shot her by mistake. His mind must have been on break. Why you lie about the guy? Hold my drink. Okay. I gotta use the bathroom. Thanks for holding this. Of course. This is good, babe. Mm, I thought you might like it. What's it called? It's called, uh, Taken by Surprise. Why is it called that? That's why. Just one more kill and you're rid of me. You're gonna miss me, aren't you? You wish. Well, tomorrow's assignment is no joke. Go get some sleep. You're gonna need it. He's actually kinda cute. Damn it, stop it. No attachment. This is for your freedom. So you're telling me that this guy's a billionaire? Yes, and he's got two bodyguards. So you gotta work your charm and get him alone. Then you're gonna give him some of this. It looks like water, but if he drinks it, bam, he's dead.
think you can handle it? If it means I never have to see your face again, then yes. Hey. Hey. What's your name? My name is, <clears throat> uh... Are you always this articulate? <laughs> uh, Brett, sorry. My name's Brett. And that's why I hate snakes. <laughs> so, are those big, strong men over there your bodyguards? Yeah, I have them for my protection. Oh. Is, uh, is something wrong? Oh, nothing. It's just, I wish we could go somewhere a little more alone. This better? Yes, but uh, do you think you could get me some water? Yeah. One sec. Cheers to, uh, one of the most beautiful girls I, I think I've ever met. Wait! To, uh, one of the most beautiful girls I, I think I've ever met. Wait! What? Your drink, it, it has a bug in it. No, don't! And that ruined my carpet? You'll, you'll thank me later. It's alright, I've been meaning to redo this place anyway. So you've been single for a while now? Yeah. Huh, you know, for me, it's always been kind of hard to stay alone. Sometimes it's better to be alone. No one can hurt you. Hey, listen, I, I get why you feel like that. But I want you to know, I'm not that type of guy. We should stop this before I... So you're telling me he's not dead? I am done working for you. No, no, sweetheart. We had a deal. You remember the obedience necklace, right? You Don't make me. Me. So tomorrow, no security, just you and me. That sounds great. I'll, I'll see you then. Good job. And tomorrow, you get that kill count up to 50. Hey. Hi. Remember, I'm watching you. You okay? Yeah, uh, do you think you could just get me some water? Yeah, of course. Okay, when he comes back, you know what to do. Got your... Natasha, what are you doing? I'm sorry. Don't do this. I don't have a choice. You have five seconds to take the shot. I don't know who's making you do this, but you always have a choice. Do it! Three... Two, one. No. Run. Ugh. Guess I'll have to do it myself. Say goodbye to your freedom and your little boyfriend. Wait. How could you? You wanted 50 kills? Ugh. Well, you got it. Security, let's see those hands. If they need to arrest me, I understand. Actually, I work for the CIA, and if you're willing to come work with us, we'll drop all the charges. Does that sound like a deal? Yes, I would like that. Thank you, Brett. You saved my life. I'll never forget. Please be something cool. Earphones. I wonder what ability this is gonna be. I guess I should try them out. Morning, honey. Oh, hey, mom. I have to tell her she's adopted. Did you just say I'm adopted? No, I didn't say that, honey. What do you mean? I'm going to school. Hey, Giselle. Oh, hey, Olivia. I'm just friends with her so I can hook up with her boyfriend. You know what? This friendship is over. What? Is it something I said? I think these give me the ability to know what people are thinking. Sweet. Giselle, you're failing this class. You got an F on your test. Well, Mr. Fit, is there anything I could do for extra credit? Oh, she could suck on my... Do you know what? I'm fine with failing. This is both a blessing and a curse. What object am I getting today? A pair of glasses? What kind of ability is that? I guess I should try them on. Morning, honey. Oh, hey, mom. Wait, you used to be a stripper? How do you know that? Don't judge me. No, I'm not. I'm going to school. No way. These tell me people's darkest secrets. Hey, Giselle. You slept with my dad? What? No. Don't ever talk to me again. Since when do you wear glasses? Since this morning. You know, you should really stop crushing on teachers. What? Giselle, come on, please just go out with me. Tyler, for the tenth time, no. Oh shit. I can finally see my parents' bank account. Although I don't expect them to make much, we can barely afford the house we live in. What? My parents are millionaires? That means they can buy me my new phone. Hey mom, hey dad.
What's up, sweetie? Um, can you guys please buy me the new iPhone? The new iPhone? <laughs> Are you crazy? But why? There's no way we can afford that. Hey, Giselle, what's wrong? Is it possible for the system to show you the wrong amount of what your parents make? No, the system is always accurate. Why do you ask? Well, because it says my parents are millionaires, and they can't even buy me a new phone. We also can barely afford the house we live in. I think you need to talk with them about it. Mom, Dad, you guys are millionaires. Why are we living in this crappy house? I think we should tell her. Mom, Dad, you guys are millionaires. Why are we living in this crappy house? I think we should tell her. Tell me what? Sweetie, you're adopted. I'm adopted? Are you serious? Honey, we wanted to tell you. I can't believe you guys were keeping this from me this long. I have to go. Hey, Jessica, can I please come sleep over at your house? I'm having some family issues. Yeah, of course. Thanks. Thank you so much for letting me stay here. Your family has a really nice house. I don't think I've ever met your parents before. They're usually gone for business trips. Jessica, come downstairs. They're back. Let's go say hi. Mom, Dad, this is my best friend Giselle. Hi, Mr. and Miss Smith. You look oddly familiar. No, surely it can't be. Mom, Dad, this is my best friend Giselle. Hi, Mr. and Miss Smith. You look oddly familiar. No, surely it can't be. Jessica, can I talk to you alone for a second? Is that okay, Giselle? Yeah, okay. Hey, I'm back. Oh, you're done talking to your parents? What did they say? They think you're their long-lost daughter. Crazy, right? Um, no. Actually, it's not crazy. My parents told me this morning that I'm adopted. Really? We need to go tell my parents right away. Mom, Dad, Giselle has something to tell you. My parents told me this morning that I was adopted. So you guys may be my biological parents. We need to go take a test to be sure. Yeah, let's go. The DNA test results just came back. Giselle, you are. Happy birthday. Hope you like your gift. Gummy bears, really guys? They're magic. Each one gives you a different ability. Okay, let's see what the red one does. Hey, check it out. Someone left five bucks on the street. Wait, don't go over there. That car came out of nowhere. How did you know that was going to happen? I, I don't know. I just did. Excuse me, Bria. Could I see you after class? You wanted to see me, Mr. Peters? Yes, I have an assignment for you. And it's not on paper, if you know what I mean. Actually, I have to go. Mom, I think we need to report my... What is he doing? Your little brother is building a tower. With bricks? No, wait, I think he's gonna... Oh, no! Our table! It's broken! What color should I choose today? Hmm, just kidding. I already picked it. Let's go with blue. <laughs> Hey, can I go to Jessica's party this weekend? No. Jessica is a bad influence on you. Mom, she's fine. Actually, she's fine. Okay, so can I go? No, I I just said no. Oh, come on, just let me go. Okay, sure, honey, you can go. I think I know what my ability is now. See ya. Hi, I'd like to return the shirt I bought here. Sure, do you have the receipt? I don't, I actually lost it. Oh, yeah, no receipt, no refund. Oh, but it still has the tags on it, and I have the card that I used to pay for it. Yeah, don't care, I need the receipt, okay? Your new return policy is no receipt, no problem. So let's get that refund started, shall we? Your brother wants to play. Would you just forget about me? I have work to do. Hey, Tommy, I just wanted to say I'm sorry, I shouldn't have yelled at you. Wait a minute! What? Who are you? <gasps> Yesterday's ability was really weird, so let's go with purple today. Please don't be bad. <laughs> hey, Dad, I'm going to head to Jessica's party. Now, wait just a minute. Don't worry. Mom said I can go. I better let her have some fun before I break with the news about the divorce. <sighs> you and Mom are getting a divorce? I didn't... 
Oh no, you got mind reading today, didn't you? Sweetheart, you weren't supposed to find out like that. Quite so. Good morning, Bria. She's got such pretty eyes and a really cute butt. What a creep. Ew, there she is. I don't want to talk to her. Hi, bestie. Oh, don't bestie me. You are a fake friend. You know what? Take your friendship bracelet back. Ow! I'm so sorry. I did not mean to hit you in your face. Come here. <gasps> I can't believe she broke my freaking elbow. What are you looking at, Daryl? I don't care that you broke your elbow. Ah! <sighs> Now that my elbow's finally healed, I'm going with green today. Whoa, what is that? Wait, can I control time? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Why are you packing a suitcase? I'm moving out, honey, remember? Yeah, the divorce. You know, this whole thing isn't right. I know you still care about mom. You just need to show her a little more. Now, before I unpause him, I'm gonna give him this to hold for mom. Perfect. Daniel, who prepared this dinner? Dad did. I did? I, I mean, uh, yeah. Oh, baby, this is really romantic. Okay, I don't need to see this. You ready for the talent show? Wait, that was today? Don't tell me you forgot. Of course not. <laughs> Taught myself how to play this in one hour, so let's hope it goes well. She's really good. How many is it gonna be? Six? That's not so bad. What's the first task? Well, this is where I die. Uh, hey mom. Hey sweetie, does this dress look okay? Uh, no, it actually makes you look fat. What? How dare you? A J? Must be a fuckboy. No way. I'd rather die. Hey, Mr. Fitz, can I talk to you for a second? Of course, Giselle, what's wrong? Well, since you have a free period, I was wondering... Do you understand all the materials? Yeah. Thank you. An A? I did all of this for a J.A.? Whatever, just give me the next task. An A. I did all of this for a J.A. Whatever, just give me the next task. Steal something from a store. That shouldn't be too hard. Hey miss, can I help you? Oh, no thank you, I'm just looking. Be sure to call me if you need anything. Will do. Hmm, might as well steal something cute. Well, that was easy. Hold it right there. You're under arrest for thievery. <sighs> Did you or did you not steal that shirt? Yes, I did, but it was for a task. End of story. Guilty. Wait. Damn it. A Y? J? What's the next task? You have got to be kidding me. I've got demons. You've got scars. All the bumps and bruises take us to the place we are We've been through heaven And then we fell And you might think it's over But the story's ours to tell Just know that I will be with you Just keep looking for the moon And I'll be here While you're searching for your life out in the dark Looking for the moon, you'll see it clear Cause it shines the same wherever you are Let it guide you, don't look behind you If you stay within the light, I'll always find you Looking for the moon and I'll I've got demons, you've got scars all the bumps and bruises take us to the place we are We've been through heaven, and then we fell and You might think it's over, but the story's ours to tell Just know that I will be with you
Just keep looking for the moon And I'll be here While you're searching for your light Fell in the dark Looking for the moon You'll see it clear Cause it shines the same wherever you are Let it guide you Don't look behind you if you stay within the light, I'll always find you Looking for the moon and Let's play a game Selected Why would you do that? One of us is going to die now Yes, but one of us is going to get money What game are we playing? A game of odds Heads or tails? Tails Alright, I choose heads then No, it's tails uh, a redo? Just the granola bar? Yes. How much? Let's play a game. Selected. What game? Go fish. The ten of hearts? Go fish. Joker. What? How did you know? You're a cheater! Um, I'm home. Sissy, let's play a game. Selected. No, you can't say those words! Sissy, let's play a game! Selected. No, you can't say those words! One of us is going to die now! What game? What? You need to choose a game. You need to choose one you're good at, so that you can live. No, I don't want you to die! Sissy, just choose a game! Okay, how about we draw toothpicks? Whoever chooses the shortest stick loses. This is a game of luck. You're supposed to choose a game you're good at. I don't know what game I'm good at. You choose first. I got the short stick. Wait. Let's play a game. I want to make a deal with you. If I win the game, you share my little sister. But if I lose, you kill us both and you get double the prize money. Deal. What game are we playing? Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. scissors. Another day, another charge. <clears throat> what? Mom, I need to borrow your charger. No, I'm using it. I'm only at 10%. I'm going to die. Here, hurry up. <clears throat> it's not working. Let's try this. That's the emergency charger. This is an emergency. <clears throat> it didn't work. There must be something wrong with my charging port. Did I hear something wrong with the charging port? Hold still. Hold what? What happened? You made it worse. I'm at 2% now. There's one more thing we can try. Come with me. Wait. So, you need more charge? Yeah, my dad says you know what to do. <laughs> I have just the thing. Dad, this guy seems sketchy. Put this to your charging port, and whatever you do, don't move. Wait, why can't I move? No question, just do it. I am tired of getting electrocuted. Look at your energy. 200%? But that's not even possible. I have so much energy. I feel so great. My energy hasn't been down all day. Not even 1%. Okay, what's my superpower? What is this? It's your birthday. What special power did you get? I don't know. There's just a bunch of colors over my head. Colors? Yeah. There's blue. What happened? Nothing. You just have blue lines on your face now. Oh. I selected it. It's so funny. She doesn't even get a real power. Hey! Why would you say that? What? I never said anything. That was so weird. Hey, happy birthday! Hey, my new gym! She'll never know how madly in love with her I am. You're in love with me? What? How did you know that? Whoa, I can read minds. Hey, is your birthday party still on at your place? Yes, of course it is. I really hope her mom's there. She is so fine. I'm so over this whole mind reading thing and stay away from my mom. I wonder what superpower Red will give me. Oh, oh, I forgot. Puts lines on my face. Hmm. I don't feel any different. Guess what? My crush asked me out and we're going on a date tonight. Danger. I don't think that's a good idea. Why? You're never happy for me. No, you don't understand. It gave me a danger warning. A uh, what? It looks safe to cross now. Let's danger. go. Danger. <gasps> Wait! Whoa, that was close. Your power's actually, like, really useful. 
Hey, I invited Jim to come study with us. Jim? Okay, but you know he's like madly in love with me, right? Really? Since when? Danger. 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 Oh, that must be Jim. I'll be back. I'll go Danger. let him in. Wait, no. Let's see what power black gets me. What new power did you get? I'm not sure yet. 63 years left? Hey, Brianna, cool lines in your face. Very rad. Five years left? <laughs> what? Oh, it shows me how many years people have left to live. Huh? I would start taking better care of your health. You don't have much time left. You're crazy. 63 years. Why do you keep saying that? That's how long you have left to live. What? No way. I deserve way more than that. I have to study really hard if I want to go to med school next year. I think it's better if you just live in the moment. No, med school's my dream. Yeah, but life is very unpredictable. You never know in a year you could be gone. You're just jealous you can't get into med school. What power will I get for purple? Ooh, purple kind of suits me. Why haven't you left yet? It's 9 a.m. 9 a.m.? No way, I'm gonna be late for school. What's happening? Whoa, how did you get here? You're lucky, you made it just in time for the bell. Whoa, I can teleport. Class was so easy. Oh no, I forgot my bag. I got you, bestie. I got your bag, bestie. Thank you. And I also got this. What's that? It's the answers for the upcoming science test. I teleported into Mrs. Jennings' office and I took them. And the best part is, no one could have saw me go in because I didn't, I teleported. Brianna, we saw that you took the answers. Principal Smith, how is that possible? I never even went in. You know we have security cameras, right? I forgot about that. Gotta go. All right, it's time to see what the last power is. Brown. Ugh, looks like shit. Hey, Bessie. Hey, Brianna. Uh, where are you? What are you talking about? I'm literally right here. All right, wherever you're hiding, come out. I'm right in front of you. No, you aren't. Whatever joke you're playing or prank or whatever, it's not funny. Looks like Brianna's absent today. What? No, I'm literally right here. I can hear you, but I can't see you. Come out this instant. Why can nobody see me? Oh, that must be my new power. I can be invisible. How do I turn this off? Oh. Huh. When did you get here? Time to spy on people. What is my bestie doing over there with my boyfriend? Brianna can never know the truth about our love. So, how many do you have? One. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetie. I'm sure it'll be better next year. Hey, girl. Any luck this year? It's okay. I'll be here for you. Come on. Let's get to class. Oh, look. It's the loser that never talks. Any words this year? I'll take that as a no. Oh, shut up, Olivia. Excuse me? Oh, look, the mute is all alone. No one to stand up for her this time. What's that? Did you want to say something? I thought so. Oh, honey, you're home. Did you have a good day at school? Do you want to talk about it? Oh, no, sorry, sweetie. I didn't mean... I can finally speak. Morning, honey. Good morning, mom. You're talking. I'll tell you all about it later. I'm going to school. Guess what? Wait, how are you talking? The system offered me to steal Olivia's words. Giselle, that's a criminal offense. Wait, what? Yeah, they can lock you up for it. I had no idea. I'm gonna get into so much trouble. How does she even have infinite words? Hey, is it possible for somebody to have infinite words? Infinite words? No way. Well, Olivia did. Now I have them. Giselle, please report to the principal's office immediately. They know. Giselle, please report to the principal's office immediately. They know. 
Just relax, you don't know that. Go in there and act like you know nothing. I'll try. You can do this. Did you see me, Mr. Fitz? Yes, hi. I presume you know about Olivia's words? Yeah, I may have heard about it. Do you have any idea who might have stolen them? No, I have no idea. If you're lying to me, you're going to be in big trouble. I promise, I don't know anything. Okay then, be sure to let me know if you do. I will. What am I going to do though? I'm going to find out I'm lying and... Giselle? Olivia? I should have known it was you. No, no, this is all a big misunderstanding. Save it. You're going to be locked up for a long time. Wait. If I have your words, how are you talking? That doesn't concern you now, does it? The only important thing here is I found out who stole them. No, please. I can explain. Giselle, Olivia, come with me. Giselle, Olivia, come with me. I'm sorry, but who are you? I'm here regarding Olivia's words. We're going to sort this out. Okay. Where are we? Leave the questions to me. Did you or did you not steal Olivia's words? Well, yes I did, but it's not my fault. Stop lying. She did steal them. You better start telling the truth. How did you take them? The system offered me to steal them. That's impossible. I promise you I'm telling the truth. How many words did you steal? It says she had infinite. Well, that's impossible. Unless she's been stealing yours. Wait. So she's been stealing my words all along? Of course I have. And I would have gotten away with it too, if it wasn't for you. I can't believe this. I'm so sorry about the confusion, miss. It's okay. At least she's locked up now. We have taken away all of her words and given them back to you. Thank you. Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred... Five? Honey! Quiet. I just want to know one thing. Why is our rich score so low? Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? But Daddy, you're a billionaire. He made a bad investment. I'm sorry, honey. <sighs> well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let anyone know about this. Hi, girlie. Oh, hi, girls. Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Is that a Ross tag? This? I just put that on there so people wouldn't steal it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I, I don't want to make other people jealous. Please let us see your score. No. You're being sus. My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm going to have him make yours public. Mommy, Daddy, we have a huge problem. What? What? Well, you remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? Mm -hmm. Well, her daddy is in charge of these richness score scales, and she said she's going to have him make our percentage score public. Oh, boy. What are we going to do? 5% is like peasant material. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I know this is hard. Why are my Gucci shoes in a for sale box? If we sell them, our percentage could go up. Okay, do what you must, because my social status is on the line. Good news, someone bought them on eBay. It only went up 2%. That wasn't worth it. I want my Gucci shoes back. Why did you have to go bankrupt, Daddy? Now tomorrow I'm going to be publicly humiliated. I can't stand to see her like this. The truth is, Daddy didn't actually go bankrupt. You two lied to me? Yes, because we didn't want you to worry. About what? Recently, some bad men threatened to take you away from us if we didn't pay them billions. And you listened to them? I had to. Daddy, I would think you would know better. This isn't a joke, Pumpkin. I know these men. They would really come for you. Enough. Have they received the money? The transfer is still pending, but this is why our score is so low. Cancel that transfer. If I do that, they're going to get really upset. Cancel it right now, Daddy, or... Or I'm gonna scream. Okay, all right, it's canceled. We have a hundred percent? I can't wait to show the girls. It's not safe for you to be out in public right now. Daddy, I will be fine. Just hire me some bodyguards. Your score is going public in three, two... <gasps> what? You have a hundred percent? Aw, and it looks like you both are only in the 90s. <sighs> Miss, we need to get you out of here. We have a code red. Who's that man behind you? Brooke, run! Ugh. Todd, how dare you? He was my favorite bodyguard. Are you Brooke Evans? Um, no. Take a... Uh, let me go, you jerks. Read this. I am not reading that. Yes, you will. 
Hi, Daddy. This is Brookie. Unfortunately, I have been kidnapped and... I'm sorry, can we cut? The lighting is just so bad. Just read the script. Okay, jeez. Hi, Daddy. They are saying that they want 1.2... I can't read that. Ugh. What? I don't have my contacts. All right, that's enough. Ow. Send us the money or you're not going to see her again. You better not have ripped out my hair. Be quiet or we're going to get the duct tape. I'm hungry. Can you guys get me some Starbucks or something? Who do you think we are, Uber Eats? Back to being a peasant. Okay, guys, they transferred the money. Now let me go. Change of plans. <laughs> We're bringing you to a new location. But that wasn't the deal. Someone else gave us a better offer for you. Hey, Brooke. Todd, you're... Shh, quiet. They're asleep. Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's going to kick your ass. I'd like to see him triple. Yes, Todd, get them. <clears throat> and this is why Todd is my favorite bodyguard. Here she is, Mr. Evans. Honey, are you okay? Oh, it was awful. They wouldn't buy me Starbucks, and they made me record videos in horrible lighting. But we're rich again, so everything's fine. No, sweetheart. We realize you need some discipline. Yep. You should have listened to us. Ugh, you guys are annoying me. Talk like that again, and you're going to boarding school. No, I'm sorry. You're going to treat us with respect. All right, I will. Hey, I just wanted to say I'm glad you're safe. Thanks, Todd. Happy birthday, darling. How many days do you have, darling? Only three days. No, we must find you a husband at once. Ready to choose? No, this isn't fair. I don't know any of these men. You can get to know them after you've been wed. Now pick one. All right, let's see. Not him. But definitely not him. What? Next. But I. And let me guess, this one has a great personality. <laughs> you have offended all the princes. Wow. That was one brutal elimination. And who might you be? Prince Nathaniel. But don't worry. I'm not here to ask you for your hand in marriage. Then why are you here? Mostly for entertainment. Aren't you from the rival kingdom? Indeed I am, and I can't wait to tell my father how hot-headed your daughter is. Aubrey, don't. All the princes rejected you. Good, I do not wish to marry any of them. If you do not wed in three days, you shall die. Are you certain that if I don't marry in three days, I shall die? Yes. You have to say yes to the first man who proposes. No, that isn't fair. Life isn't fair, darling. I can't do this. You must. I will not lose you like I lost your father. You must find a husband. Do you understand? Oh, mother, I think my corset is a bit too tight. Aubrey, to meet a good suitor, you must look as fitted as possible. Hello, princess. Would you care to dance? That was fun. Shall we dance again? Oh, actually, I'm a bit thirsty. Say no more. I shall fetch you a drink, your highness. Pardon me. I didn't mean to startle you. You weren't invited. The invitation said all eligible princes were welcome. Are you alright? My corset, it's... it's too tight. My corset, it's... it's too tight. Hang on. I'll help you. Is that better? Yes. Thank you. Princess? What exactly was happening over here? It is not what it looks like. I was simply helping her with her dress. You two were being scandalous. No! We don't even like each other. I'm so telling everyone. You can't just go around spreading rumors about us. Hmm. You could marry her and restore your dignity, or... Is there a second option? You could also pay me to keep quiet. Mm -hmm. I can't believe we paid her so much money. This is all your fault. My fault? You're the one who... Princess, there you are. I must ask you a question. Will you, Princess Aubrey, marry me? I... Your mother insisted I ask you tonight. So, what do you say, Princess? Yes. Excellent. We shall be married tomorrow, and you shall be saved from death. Nathaniel, why are you here? I came to congratulate you on your engagement. You know, for a guy who doesn't like me, you sure show up at my palace a lot. Are you implying that I might have feelings for you? I would do no such thing, your highness, unless, of course, it was true. I think you've mistaken my generosity for affection. You are far from generous. Oh, really? Yes, really. 
I'll have you know I can be very generous. All right, then prove it. All right. I will. You kissed me. I... I would never. I am a gentleman. A gentleman does not kiss another man's bride. You have to marry me. No, Aubrey, I can't. Is it because we are rivals? No. I have to go. Now, after we are wed, I want the princess taken care of. I shall pay for you to do this. We have postponed the wedding long enough. He is trying to kill me. Enough of your nonsense. You shall be married tonight. And do you take Prince Frederick to be your husband? I... Stop the wedding. That man is a fraud. Nathaniel, someone get this fool out of here. The only fool here is you. Prince Frederick is not who he claims to be. In fact, he's not a prince at all. It's true. You were just using her to become royalty. No! I am a man of honor. No, Frederick. What you are is a word I dare not say in front of the Queen. Whoa. Aubrey, I'm so sorry. You are almost out of time. Who shall you marry? Marry me. But I thought... I made a vow to never marry because I didn't believe in love. That was until... Until what? Until I met you. So I ask you, Aubrey, will you join our kingdoms together and marry me? Yes. I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. Your total's 20 even. Babe, I'm so sorry. I don't think I have enough. Hey, it's okay. I got it. Sorry if I embarrassed you back there. No, you're fine. I understand you're going through a tough time with your job. Tomorrow when the amount in my bank account appears, it might come as a bit of a shock to you. Listen, I don't care how low that number is. I'm gonna love you just the same. Poor thing, it's time to see how little he has. What? My boyfriend is a billionaire? No, there has to be some sort of mistake. I, uh, take it you saw my account? Yeah, and you've got a lot to explain. Whose Ferrari is in our driveway? That's mine. Well, actually, it's going to be yours now. What? No, I am still mad at you. Come with me and I'll explain everything. There was a good reason for me lying. Oh yeah? Was there a good reason for you having me buy your meals for the past year? Heck, I even paid your rent one time. I know, I know. And I'll be paying you back for all of it. Why didn't you just tell me? Because every girl I've ever dated has used me for my money. I was tired of dating gold diggers, and I wanted to find a girl who liked me for me. I promise, I will make it all up to you, and I'm going to start by showing you where I really live. Whoa, now hold up. You have a Chick-fil-A in your kitchen? Yep, and there's a McDonald's upstairs. <laughs> Babe, who are you, Richie Rich? Excuse me for just a moment. This is crazy. One of my stocks just went up. A lot. Yeah, actually, I can see that. Why don't you look happy? I'm worried about your safety. You can't tell anyone that you're dating a billionaire. Why can't people know I'm dating a billionaire? Because I'm now one of the youngest billionaires alive. And is that a bad thing? I know a lot of people that would die to get their hands on my money. And you think they'll come after me? I know they will. Promise me you won't tell anyone about my money. Okay, I promise, but you do owe me quite a bit of cash, so what do you say? You take me on a little shopping spree? Well, I can't be seen buying you a bunch of stuff, but I can give you this. Babe, this is like 10k. You didn't owe me this much. I know. Consider it a thank you for being so kind to me. I want you to spoil yourself. Oh, hey, Lizzie. Where's your boyfriend? He's at his house. Why? Oh, nothing. I just think it's kind of sad how he never buys you anything. I mean, look at all the stuff you had to buy yourself. It must be hard to date someone poor. Actually, he's not poor. He's one of the richest people alive. What? <gasps> did you enjoy your shopping spree? Uh, yeah, sure did. Good. I also bought you this necklace. Babe, it's beautiful. Thank you. Delivery for Elizabeth? Yes, how much do I owe you? Oh, it's not you who's gonna owe me money. It's your boyfriend. Lizzie, it's 1 a.m. Why are you up? This isn't Lizzie, but if you want to see her again, you're gonna do exactly as I say. You want me to wire you one billion dollars? Yeah, do it now or she's gone. No, I'll send it. It's done. Now let me speak to her. 
Okay, talk. Liam, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. I accidentally told someone that you were... It's okay. I planned for this. Remember that necklace I gave you? Yeah. It's a tracker, babe. No! Please, freeze! Thank you, Liam. I'm glad you were able to get your money back. I don't care about the money. I'm just happy you're okay. You need a job, girl. Yeah, I know. I only have $20 in my account. You know that nanny app? Yeah. Apparently, some billionaire is looking for a nanny. Let me see. He's kind of cute. It says he wants them to be CPR certified, have five years of experience with working with kids, and a college degree. All things I don't have. But he doesn't know that. Stacy, no, we are not faking documents. You need money, honey. <laughs> don't. Don't give me that look. Wow, this is amazing. Your resume is just outstanding. Thank you. When can you start? Oh, I'm free to start whenever you like. All right, okay, here you go. I'm gonna give you your first paycheck right now. I got two other kids right there. Say hi, girls. This is your new nanny. Hi. Can she cook? Oh, well, actually... Yeah, her resume says she can cook anything. Since you're a chef, can you make a sushi? Yeah, whatever you girls want. Yay. Yes. Hi, I just want to order some sushi, but I need it delivered out back. <laughs> Don't you dare snitch on me. Mmm, this is so good. Well, I'm glad you like it. Daddy used to cook for us, but now he's too busy with his job. Yeah. You know, what is your dad's job anyway? <laughs> We're not allowed to say. Who made this? Oh, that would be me. Hi, I'm the new nanny. And who are you? I'm Darren's girlfriend, and I'm allergic to sushi. Throw this away. Just go in the other room. It's not bothering you. Ow! Hey! <laughs> it's fine, honey. Darren gave me permission to discipline the girls. Are you okay? I have to tell your dad about that. Don't bother. He, he won't believe you. She acts different around him. Excuse me, sir. Lucy, hey. This is for you for being so great today. Now, if you'll excuse me. Is that a gun? Is that a gun? Oh, you weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> Why do you have that? What is your job? Listen, Lucy, if you're going to work for me, there's some questions that are off limits, and that's one of them. Excuse me? No, I want to know that I'm safe here. You are very safe with me, Lucy. I promise. Actually, sir, I came up here to talk to you about your girlfriend. What about me? Hey, babe. Hey, baby. Yeah, what about it? I was just going to say that she's gorgeous. Darren already knows that. Don't you, babe? He didn't listen, did he? No, not really. I told you. Listen, girls, don't worry. I'm going to find a way to expose her. No, baby. He's just a job. You're the one that I love. We'll talk later, okay? Bye. Lucy, you didn't hear anything. Oh, but I did. No, you didn't. That's a lot of money, huh? It can all be yours. If you keep your mouth shut. Don't tell Darren about my man, and the money's yours. You have a deal. Perfect. And then the fairy lived happily ever after. The end. Thank you for reading the book. I always wanted my mommy to read it. May I ask what happened to your real mommy? I don't know my real mommy or daddy. We were all in foster care before this, but Darren adopted us. But I love you, Lucy, because you're like a real mommy to me. Yeah, I love you girls, too. Then tell him I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. And you better give me my money by tonight. Does this guy work for the Mafia or something? Hey, Lucy. Oh, I got, I got it. it. Uh, <laughs> you know, you got really nice... Hey, babe, guess what? Your nanny is a fake. The college she graduated from doesn't exist. I can explain. I don't like liars, Lucy. She lied about everything on her resume. Pack your stuff right now and get out. I told you to go. She needs to be fed. I can take care of that. Sir, please don't fire me. I know I shouldn't have lied about my resume, but I do care about your girls. And if you fire me, they're going to be heartbroken. The kids will be fine, Lucy. Well, then you should know that your girlfriend is cheating on you. What are you talking about? She's lying. I heard her on the phone in the closet. She paid me not to say anything. I did not. You lied to me once, you're probably lying to me again. But, sir... You're fired, hun. Get over it. Give me the baby. No. Lucy. <laughs> Shh, it's okay. <laughs> Lucy, where are you going? I'm so sorry. I'll be taking that money back. <laughs> It'll be okay. No, it's not gonna be okay. I failed them. 
Oh, his girlfriend is so evil. No, baby, he's just a job. You're the one that I love. I think she's out to get his money. Huh? The kids are in danger. I have to go help them. Where's Daddy? Sorry, honey, but Daddy's getting interrogated right now. <laughs> I have to get in there. Hey, where do you think you're going? Hey, boss, look who I found. Well, well. It's gonna be okay. Yes, girls, stop struggling. Everything will be fine. For me. Actually, no, it's not. Because I may not be a chef or have graduated from college. But there's one thing that I didn't put on my resume that's uh, about to come in real handy right now. And what's that? How did you... I'm a black belt in Taekwondo, bitch. Lucy. Girls. It's okay. Lucy, is everyone all right? Yeah, Lucy saved us. You're hurt. I'm fine. Thank you. Daddy, does this mean that Lucy can stay? Yeah, I just hope she can forgive me for being so... Now they have to get married. Yeah, or at least give her a raise, Dad. <laughs> Maybe I'll do both. Skip school or stay home. My mom wouldn't let me stay home if I wanted to, so... Hey, Mom, can you give me a ride to school? Sure, honey, I'll start the car. On second thought, I'll walk. Thank goodness, you could lose a couple pounds. Yeah, that's a great point. Thank you so much for bringing that up, Mom. Thank you. Hey, Giselle, do you want to go on a date with me? Jake? Seriously? I've had a crush on you since forever. So, do you want to go? I can't. I'm busy that night. I didn't even tell you which night. Yeah, I'm busy all nights. Hey, girl, do you want to come to the mall with us? <laughs> For once, a good option is free. Yeah. You guys, I just found this giant Squishmallow. Are you going to buy it? Of course I am. It's a great investment. Your gems. What? You guys, I just found this giant Squishmallow. Are you going to buy it? Of course I am. It's a great investment. Giselle, your gems. What? You have a million gems. But how is that possible? It went up when you bought the Squishmallow. Am I being punked? Mom, I'm home. What's that? Oh, this? This is my new giant Squishmallow. How many gems did you spend on that stupid Excuse thing? Excuse me? Squishmallows are not stupid. And she was only 10 gems. Do you really have 10 gems to waste? As a matter of fact, I do. I have a million. Here, I'll send you 100,000. Honey, where did you get that? Stop asking questions, Mom. You're welcome. Oh, someone's at the door. I'll get it. Hello, may I help you? Are you Giselle? Yeah. You're under arrest for the possession of stolen gems. Hey, Mom. Oh my gosh, your glasses are so cute. Can I try them? Yeah, of course, honey. Here. No way. You used to be a stripper? What? Don't judge me. I'm not judging. Get that back, sis. Giselle, hold my hat. Okay. I was so high, I Shut up. You went to jail, but you're only 16. Uh, how do you know about that? It's a secret. Damn, it's so cold in here. Do you want to borrow my jacket? Yeah, that's great. Thank you. You know what? On second thought, I'm fine. And thank you so much for reminding me to close my blinds. Ugh, my hair is so annoying. Jessica, do you have a scrunchie for me? Yeah, you're in luck. Great, thank you. Mr. Fit? Ugh, my hair is so annoying. Hey, Jessica, do you have a scrunchie for me? Yeah, you're in luck. Thanks. Mr. Fitz? You know about that? You're secretly dating Mr. Fitz? Giselle, keep your voice down. Do you know how much trouble you could get in? You could get expelled, and he could be thrown in jail. Well, none of that will happen if you just keep your mouth shut. Yeah, don't worry. Your dirty little secret is safe with me. I can't believe I have to sit in a classroom every day knowing my teacher is in a relationship with my best friend. Miss Giselle, can I talk to you for a second? Um, yeah, of course, Mr. Fitz. Alone. Uh, okay. So why did you want to see me? 
You look cold. Put on my jacket. You freaking perv.